For Yaya consumers, their online space is much more than a hobby or a pastime. It's their home. They live, eat, and breathe a virtual identity. So if you want to reach these digital homebodies, you can't just be in the neighborhood. You need to knock on their digital doors. But these doors are password protected. Does it seem like no matter what you try, you just can't access them? Reaching Yaya consumers doesn't have to be encrypted. We're here to help you gain access to this elusive demographic. Welcome home screen. A Yaya consumers home screen is beyond just a landing page. It's where they live. 60% of Yaya consumers feel at home when they are online. Now, let us introduce you to a new generation of digital consumers. There is no distinction between this age group's online experience and their offline experience, making their realities one. 67% of Yaya individuals say they match their online identities to their physical ones, which further links this connection. This means that their online experience should be as rich and immersive as their offline experience. While Yaya consumers feel at home when they're online, they're more nomadic in their media consumption. With 66% of Yaya consumers seeking new experiences online, they roam the internet in search of self-discovery and to further explore the world around them. In fact, 76% of them agree with the statement, social media allows me to understand different people and cultures. The comfort Yaya consumers feel on the internet has opened the door for them to freely discover new ideas about themselves and who they aspire to be. Although this market may wander, they're far from lost. This led us to name them Digital Nomads. Yaya consumers live, work, and play online, so their virtual life becomes their window into the world. They want brands that can offer extraordinary omni-channel experiences that can surpass shopping in physical stores. Marketers can then serve as a GPS, guiding the Yaya market to roam and discover new content that fulfills their need to seek new directions. So what brand does this well? Spotify. In addition to having one of the youngest user bases, Spotify guides digital nomads to discover music. Instead of seeking out popular or branded artists, they want to forge their own path to discover new music. Spotify does just that through personalized playlists with new artists and genres for listeners, like their Discover Weekly playlist. The Discover Weekly playlist utilizes a taste profile that assigns scores to various artists and genres based on the user's listening habits, resulting in a perfectly curated, unique to you playlist. Let's profile who these consumers are on social media. At this life stage, Yaya individuals are learning who they are and more importantly, who they want to be. These users actively curate and customize their identities both offline and online to form what we call a curation of self. Their individual expression is seen and built through their digital lives. The way they customize their home screen or who they follow on Instagram speaks to their evolving personal identity. Yaya consumers enjoy exploring different platforms to curate their ever-changing identities. As they do this, brands should meet them where they're at to help them discover their individuality. So what brand does this well? Function of beauty. Noted for being the world leader in customizable beauty, Function of Beauty offers tailor-made hair care, skin care, and body products based on a quiz, allowing customers to purchase products made specifically for their needs. Realizing that one type does not fit all, Function of Beauty has elevated its standards to meet the needs of each individual customer, no matter the hair type or skin type. Customers can also have their names printed on the product labels showing that it doesn't take much to have customers feel involved in brand experiences by adding a special touch of personalization. Let's kick our feet up and take a look at the entertainment folder. Entertainment, water, food, and shelter. Digital nomads are redefining what is essential to them and making the most room for entertainment. They expect to be entertained wherever they land. To digital nomads, what's the point of being online if they're not being entertained? And what better way to stay entertained than binge watching your favorite show? The largest percentage of digital nomads pay for streaming services with their own money. 
53% of respondents said they're personally willing to spend over $20 per month for all their streaming services combined. Hey, you know what really irritates me? When I'm in the middle of something and... Woo, 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 state of the eye downloads, free, 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 download this link here. Ugh, this is exactly what I was talking about. As a digital nomad, nothing annoys me more than being interrupted by an ad during my essential entertainment time. Brands have to be a lot more subtle than that. Skip typical ads, product placement is the key to success with this market. In fact, consumers in this demographic view product placement more positively compared to traditional advertising. Through their need to be entertained 24 seven, Yaya audiences adopt an entertainment mindset. And it's suggested that brands tap into this mindset by making their platform a world of entertainment, socialization, and self-expression. One brand that taps into the entertainment mindset is, of course, TikTok. As any TikTok user knows, what started as a quick five minute break on the app can easily turn into hours. Scrolling from video to video on the app creates an endless cycle of entertainment. This app is so successful because of its customized algorithms and hyper curated content. One user's For You page can look entirely different from others, all based on what kind of content they want to see, adding a new level of personalization. From unboxing videos, to dance tutorials, to video game footage, to whatever this is. <laughs> TikTok offers a variety of entertainment in 15 to 60 second videos. Another type of entertainment that is essential to digital nomads is sports. This life stage is redefining how they view traditional sports, whether that is through social media or short form videos. This trend exposes a shift in values Digital nomads want to stay informed about sports and athletes, but don't feel the need to watch a four hour game. But this decline is not met without a replacement. What we found is the rise of a new kind of athlete. Digital nomads are hanging up their cleats and reaching for their controllers. Traditional sports viewership is declining while esports participation and viewership are growing exponentially. According to Statista, the global esports market was valued at just over $1 billion in 2021. From our primary research, we found that 37% of respondents participate in esports, and 44% of Yaya individuals are gaming daily. It might surprise you to know that 36% of these daily users are women. As brands increase their foothold in the gaming industry, they need to acknowledge the presence of female gamers. Marketers had the chance to reach the entire gaming community by creating a supportive and inclusive network for female gamers. Esports and streaming allow for more authentic, genuine interaction between athlete and fan that isn't found in mainstream sports. 44% of Yaya individuals are loyal to specific streamers. Because of this trust, almost half of respondents enjoy watching sponsored streams, and 31% regularly purchase products promoted by a streamer. Even more, 59% of respondents trust the recommendations of the streamers they follow. So if you haven't already, switch to Twitch. According to our primary research, 53% of Yaya consumers are watching Twitch content. This live streaming platform is a hub for Yaya consumers' interests, varying from esports and video games to music and even lifestyle content. What sets Twitch apart is the element of community. Millions of users can come together to interact, chat, and make their own entertainment. Now that you have unlocked the virtual abodes of Yaya consumers, make yourself at home. As you learned today, being online is not just a pastime, it's their lifeline, providing a comforting space for these digital homebodies to learn about who they are and who they aspire to be. In order for your brand to get ahead, it's important to take a look inside the home screens of this group. Thanks for logging in. Now we're gonna switch profiles so that Team Zenith can give you insight into the Yaya consumer's view on work and careers.